Hello everybody, um, welcome to time um, for the holidays with Mimi. Um, May is International Chronic Fatigue Syndrome Awareness Day or MECFS Awareness Day. Um, uh, May 12th honors the birthday of Florence Nightingale. Um, she was a social reformer, institution, and the founder of modern nursing. Um, she herself was really sick and almost bedridden um, with something that resembled chronic fatigue syndrome. Um, and she, she established the Nightingale um, Training School in 1860 for nursing. Um, May 12th was her birthday, and that's why we picked May 12th to honor her. Um, this year, in 2021, will be the 29th year of MECFS International Awareness Day, which is weird because, like, I never heard of it before, like, until I got sick myself with Lyme disease, and then that led to a bunch of diagnoses with fibro, fibromyalgia and CFS and um, chemical sensitivity and all that stuff. Um, I had never heard of it before that, but I guess it has been around for a long time. So May is also ME Awareness Month, um, which was started in 2006 by the British um, charity Invest in ME Research, it's called. Um, so anyway, chronic fatigue syndrome is a disorder characterized by um, chronic fatigue. Tests rarely show any underlying conditions. Um, the fatigue worsens upon physical activity or stress. Um, no matter how much you sleep, you wake up just feeling totally exhausted mentally physically like like almost like you're in a coma like you just can't make yourself move your heart will race like just getting up to go to the bathroom your your heart will race your legs feel like they're going to collapse it's just awful um so a list of the symptoms of chronic fatigue syndrome are fatigue mental and physical post-exertional um malaise neurological symptoms um, such as loss of memory, trouble concentrating, um, sore throat and large lymph nodes in your neck and armpits, unexplained muscle pain, migrating joint pain, headaches, feeling tired all the time, um, exercise intolerance, and sensitivity to smells, chemicals, toxins, lights, sound medicine, um, supplements, temperature changes. Um, you just develop the multiple chemical sensitivity disorder, which we also did a video on. Um, MESFS -E is um, most common in people between 40 and 60 years old, and it affects women more than men. It's diagnosed in the Caucasian population more, but that might just be because um, minorities might not be getting the proper medical care that they need to get the diagnosis. Um, I was reading the CDC page on chronic fatigue syndrome and I found this really interesting that right on their page they say this. Um, Most medical schools in the United States do not have ME CFS as part of their physical training. Phys I'm sorry, physician training. The illness is often misunderstood and might not be taken seriously by some healthcare providers. More education for doctors and nurses is urgently needed um, so that they are pre prepared to provide timely diagnosis and appropriate care for patients. So right on the CDC page, they admit that there hasn't been enough research and doctors aren't taking this seriously, which patients already know. Um, any chronic illness, God forbid you go to the doctor with it. Um, it's really frustrating. There's no cure for ME, CFS. Um, tre treatment is mostly based on managing your symptoms like physical therapy to build strength or pain meds for controlling pain. Um, the cause is technically unknown. Many patients de dealing with ME-CFS um, believed it was triggered by either a stressful event they had or um, by another illness that they had such as Lyme disease, Epstein-Barr syndrome, and now COVID-19. Um, definitely further research is needed. And on these videos, I'm just touching very briefly on the illness I'm talking about. Um, I know that I'm not doing any justice for ME, CFS, um, but I just wanted to make a quick video to bring attention, especially to people who don't have it. So um, if you guys, I'm gonna rely on you guys to share your stories and what you went through trying to get diagnosed, what your symptoms are like, um, any treatments you found helpful, um, please leave them down below in the comments. 
Okay. Chronic Fatigue Awareness Ribbon is blue, and if you check out our gift shop, we, we make um, awareness products for all illnesses, so we make them for um, ME, CFS too, so if you want like a ribbon magnet for your car or a t-shirt or whatever, um, you know, visit our shop, we'll put the link down below. So anyway, I'm sorry if you're suffering from this condition, it's pretty brutal, and I know it's frustrating that always having somewhere to turn to get help with it. Um, I hope that you guys all have found support groups or friends who also have the condition so you can get some, you know, positive support that you need. Um, wishing you all the best and you guys all have a great day. Bye.